Right, so I'm in front of my big window because it's gave me quite a lot of natural sunlight. Um, I've prepped my um, skin, uh, so I have moisturised, I have used the Max Factor Miracle Prep Pore Minimising and Mattifying Primer. It looks like that. And then I went in and used my NYX Primer, which is a Studio Perfect Photo Loving Primer. And now I'm going in with my Smashbox Foundation Studio Skin 24 Hour Hydrating Foundation in the colour 1.2 Fair Light. Let me start applying that. Gives you good coverage, as you can see. Right, so just make sure that that's all blended in, into the ears, down onto your neck so you don't get a harsh line. Right. And then what we are going to do is I'm going to go in with my, this is brand new, so I need to open this. This is NYX again, one of my favourite brands. Born to Glow Radiant Concealer. So I'll show you what it looks like. So it looks like that. It's quite reasonably priced as well. If I can open it. So it comes like that. So what we have to do is squeeze. And it comes out of the top. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. And then I'm just going to apply that under the eye. And this is in the colour. I'll just check. One second. This is in the colour. Don't actually know. Oh, pale. It's on the lid. That's why I'll do it on the bottle. Let's just blend that in. video I like to put it up on my lids as well so next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a loose powder which I'll just show you the lid of as I spill it so this is the L'Oreal infallible magic loose powder it looks like that I'm gonna put a little bit and just dab underneath the eye <laughs> that like that i'm gonna go on to eyes now so i'm gonna use the palette from nyx again um this is the ultimate uh shadow palette and it's their bright palette so it looks like this so i'm going to be using i think i'm gonna go for this one yeah so i get some on my brush and i'm just gonna start applying in the cut crease, like so. So it's quite potent colour. Pigment is on. So working that into the crease backwards and forwards. Don't worry about being too messy at this stage. Bring it out and back in. So it's looking a bit mad at the minute, but I promise you it will all come together. So I might even go in with the lighter greeny sort of turquoisey colour in the same palette. Just go and blend those two together. Nice Princess Jasmine look. So put that into the corners and then out working those two together to make sure you get a nice seamless blend and i might even bring that color down bring it in So just carrying that up into where you put the blue. So now 
feeling it needs a bit more depth into the corners so I'm... by beauty bay i'm gonna go in with like a dark green so i don't know if you can see so i'm gonna go in with this one here just give it a bit more depth in the inner corners yeah like that so use some more of that and How i am working on some more brushes but obviously with the circumstances at the minute it's taking a back seat and uh, make this a little bit darker underneath feel like I need a little bit of pop so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get some of the Born to Glow concealer and I'm going to use that as a base and I'm going to use I'm going to put some of that on the brush and then I'm going to make a cut crease from the inner corner and I'm not gonna go the whole I'm not gonna go the whole way because I just want it a little bit so I want it graduating into this and then just blend that in with the greens and the blue I hope the camera is picking it up so then okay. with that I'm going to go in with a more sparkly tone. So I think I might even go a bit gold. Bear with me. Yeah. You know what, I'm gonna use mixed glitter. So I'm gonna go over first with the gold shimmer. So I'm gonna go over with this one. One night only, it's called. So I'm gonna Place that on top of where I've just put the concealer. So I'm going to use this. That's better. This is one of my May Sky ones. This is a medium eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to go over, over, over. I know it looks a bit bright at the minute, but it will all come together. Have faith. Go for it. So now I'm going in with Friday Feels just to blend that in. And then I'm just going to get my fluffy brush, which is, I don't actually know who this is from. It's an E12, but it's rubbed off. So I'm going to go back in with Garden Party, which is that one in the Beauty Bay one. And I'm just going to smudge that in. So to add a bit more pop, I am going to use my NYX glitter. So this is what it looks like. Gets everywhere, by the way. So be warned. Um, but this is the colour... So this is 04. It hasn't got a colour on it, but so I'm going to add some of the glitter just along where I've put the gold. I don't know if that's picking up. So I'm going to put it mainly in the inner corners more than anything, because there's already a shimmery colour that I've just put on top. So mainly just concentrate and then just work your way out. Right, so see, it's, you can't see, but it's gone all over my table. Done. I'm going to move on to my eyebrows. I'm going to take my favourite, favourite brush of the collection, which I know you already know because I've said it in previous posts and videos. But this is the May Sky Beauty Brow Brush. And I'm going to go in with, That's so I'll do that and I will be back. So, done my brows, done them a little bit darker than I usually do them and I've added a little bit of eyeliner. So, along that line that I've just put, I'm going to just put a little bit of 
of a black shadow in and uh, blend it upwards into the darker colour of like so. It's not so harsh like so. So can you see that? And then and then you can just blend that in again with your fluffy brush. Like so. So see it's all starting to come together. And then once I've got lashes on, I've contoured, it'll all It'll all be okay. So now right. I'm going to just dust that away. And that just gets rid of any. And it sits under your eyes as well, by the way. It's not just for this. Right, so now I'm going to go in. I'm not going to do cream contour today. I'm feeling NYX again. And I'm going to get there highlight and contour palette so just to make me a little bit more bronze right, so i'm going to go in and start contouring with the powder because you know jasmine needs to be popped so i'm right, hoping to do it up my forehead a bit shorter I'm going to get a darker colour now and I'm going to go underneath along my jawline, get rid of that double chin and it does work. And then you can tell instantly it's made my face look slimmer. And bring some of this down onto the neck because you don't want to have a white neck and I haven't faked. So, oh, this is a very intense look, but I'll see you on the other I'm side. Good. I'm now going to contour my nose. The same NYX palette powder. I think it's a lot softer than creams and you can blend it better. Do round at the bottom as well. I like to do because it makes your nose appear shorter. Just over the bridge. Also, so there's no harsh line. You can also get your beauty blender. I might use my smaller one and just make sure it's all blended in. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my mascara. I'm just gonna apply. So, I don't know if I'm going to add lashes or not. I might not, depending how I feel after this one. Might even give a little bit of blush today. So, I'm going to get my blush brush. Blush brush. Oh, I know what I could use as well under the eye. Right, so I'm not going to go too heavy. Tiny bit of colour on those cheekbones. Like so. I'm going to get actually this pencil and maybe just put it along my lower lash line. It's got a bit of a metallic feel to it. Very, very blue, but it has got a smudger on the end. It's 
because it's a little lid. So I'm just going to smudge that in. So I am now going to see what it looks like with a lash and if I decide to, I'll come back with lashes on. If not, it was a disaster and we'll leave it as that. So I'll be back in a minute. So this is with the lashes on. I decided to actually go ahead and put them on because let's face it, it's a dramatic look. So you might as well have dramatic lashes. So I don't think they look too bad, although I did have to just trim them down. <clears throat> so now I'm going to go in with my Smashbox highlighting palette and I'm going to go in with the gold I think and we're just going to put that down the centre well I'll show you the places I'm going to put it so I usually put it to my nose nice and goldy Above the bridge. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. Obviously, the usual suspect places. Do you know what? I'm just going to use my finger. It's going to be a lot easier to apply. There we go. I hope the camera's picking these up because they're so pretty. Just on the cupid's bow. So, so I might, in my waterline, I might actually use my white liner to open up my eyes a bit. Better. It makes your eyes pop more. Well, I don't feel like they need popping anymore. So, I'm just going to blend that in it I think I'm just gonna go in with the lips I don't know what to do with the lips I feel like a pinky nudie don't want anything too bold because you know you don't want to go bold and bold you want to stay one or the other so I'm gonna go in actually I'm gonna use this yeah, it's got a little mirror with it, so it's quite handy. And then I'm going to go in with my Iconic London Gloss, which is in the shade Love Struck, one of my favourite shades. Clumps them up as well. So that's basically it. And then I'm just going to go in with my Iconic London. Give myself another spritz. There you have it. Uh, Princess Jasmine inspired look. Very bold. Very blue. Hope you liked it.